I want to welcome us this time around to this year's uh, WIAC exam and answering. That's 2023 examination questions, the objective set. I want to use this opportunity to really apologize to all my viewers and followers who have waited to see me release this particular version of the exam solution set for 2023. And for some time now, I was not able to get it. The very fact is that I was fully engrossed in doing something different, and that is writing books, trying to publish books. So I wanted to finish that project before I come in. You will see along the, along the line of this particular presentation, I will introduce that book to you. Please, the best way you can encourage me is to buy those books. They will really be a blessing to you. As an engineer, I did not just graduate as an engineer, and there are other talents I also possess. So one of them is writing book as an author. And so the best way you can encourage me is to patronize me in those, since I offer unto you these services free of charge. So you can also encourage me also, one, by subscribing to my channel, going down to the you know, buttons below, sharing this work that I'm doing. And then if you go to the link in the bio below, you will see the link to the book which I have written. Two of them are novels. And if you are a girl, the third one is about marriage for young ladies, difficulties that they face. So for somebody to be engrossed, writing three books, editing, doing all those things, you expect me actually to have a lot of time invested in that. And having said that, therefore, let's jump straight into today's, uh, what we have for today in this presentation. So as it stands now, our solution set for this year is 2023 Wayek Objective Solution Set. And when you are given this question paper and your, you know, the first thing you see on top of it is something you see on the screen here. So this is a sample of the question that we're actually answering here today. Please bear with me because of the camera I'm using, it's computer camera, the cam I have is yet to arrive. So when I get the cam, I will start to use cam instead of the computer camera which is not too bright to so like me, even me. I don't like the blonde nature of the, the production. But please, let's manage with it for now. So on this platform, therefore, we go. When you see this, you see the instructions that are written there, that will take you to the next page of your work. And that is it. Once you open the first page of the work, you will see something like that. And that is something of this nature that you're going to see. All right, in the front seat, they just gave you an example of how you should share your questions. So they gave us example question here, and the correct answer here is C. So they shared it. Please do not share it to affect another option boxes, you know, square brackets. It will be counterproductive to you. Now, having done that, we will say, therefore, stand free. Now, before we get to this, actually, question number one falls under section A, which I didn't indicate. The latter part, we're going to start with section B. Continue with section B. Section A of technical drawing is made up of 30 questions normally from geometry, plainly, to test your sense of reasoning and practical applications of so many things you have learned when you were constructing things and learning technical drawing, you don't know how and all the twists that involve TV. So they will test your mind here, your brain and squeeze questions to see if you can remember some of the things you did in the class. So this number one falls under section A. Then section B has two parts. In, that is under YA question. It has two parts. And the first part sometimes can be machine drawing. And then followed by part B, there's part B or that section B, uh, that's part two of section B. And that has to do with building drawing. In other times, they can put building drawing first and then machine drawing follows after that. So down this process, we will get to answer our distance. Okay, question number one. Now, you can see the question here. Let's begin. 
Now it says, which of the following type of pencil is most suitable for, uh, for construction line? The correct answer is a hedge. Actually, hedge pencils are hard pencils. All right, so they are good for what? All forms of construction. B pencils are normally for drawing black lines. That's why B stands for. HB stands for intermediate between B pencils and uh, hard pencils, H pencils. So the correct answer is D for this particular option. Now, question number two says, the construction shown in figure one illustrates the division of line LM into three equal parts. The ratio in which the line is divided is D. Just count them. We have four, one, two, three, four. Then ratio one, two, three, four, five. Ratio one, two, three. So which one is the correct answer here? Now we look at this answer properly and then we check it properly and see what we have here. Anyway, the correct answer is D. This is D because by the time you reduce these numbers, you get the correct ratio. So the answer is D. This is not correct. I think three is here. That would be the correct one. But this is the correct option that we have in this place. So the answer is D. Now, question number, uh, question number three. It says, um, the maximum, the maximum and the minimum possible reading on the scale in figure two are respectively, are respectively what? Now, if you check here, the highest number we here we have is, is three. But there is no three in any of the options we have here below. So you get question, ah, which one can be the correct answer? Yes, though we have three here, this figure from this zero backward makes it four. There are actually four equal vertical divisions here. This is the way diagonal, the diagonal scale is presented. Now, your count actually begins from here, but to get a full and correct measurement, you have to come to the back here to get the rest of them. So the full measurement is supposed to be actually counted from here, making it one, two, three, four. But unfortunately, we have to use one, the first, you know, first box to introduce a smaller dimension that I need to require. The smaller and the smallest dimension are in vertical, and then the smaller dimension this is the bigger dimension. So in this case, the smaller dimension, if this one, since there are three of them, we will need three digits, uh, two digit numbers to get the correct one. And that gives us here 4.00 and 0 0.01. The correct answer is B. Right, that's the correct answer for this problem. Question number four. One of the one, uh, one example of an acute angle, actually, that's, uh, the answer is D. Acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Question number five. It says, the angle level X in the triangle shown in figure three is power. It is vertical and it's vertical. If you draw a line from this place down now, you will discover that the angle here is the ang vertical angle of these two lines. So it is vertical angle. All right, the answer is C. Now, which of the following polygon can be constructed with 45 degrees S square? The answer is octagon. Octagon, yes. Octagon has external angle of 45 degrees. So the answer is D. Now, this question number seven requires explanation. So the tutorial video, the short tutorial video you have after now, to help us to decide which one is the correct answer. Question number seven says an equivalence of 20 centimeters squared is what? 20 centimeters squared is the same thing as 20 centimeter multiplied by one centimeter. Now when we convert this two into millimeters, it's going to become 20. 2200 millimeter times 10 millimeter. We have to convert this because it has centimeter. If you remove this centimeter, we cannot produce this. And for that reason, therefore, this multiply this, give us 
2,000 millimeter square. That's the answer. So the correct answer is A. Now, question number. Now, this is a question that uh, set up. We are to use this particular problem to answer questions number eight and number nine. We we'll see the sketch in figure four shows two intersecting circles. Use it to answer questions eight and nine. So, if that is the issue, we are to answer questions number eight and nine using this problem. So, how do you go about that? Let us get it this way. All right. The two circles can be said to be what? What are the two circles said to be? All right. So let's take it up. Don't be offended. The two circles can be said to be what? The correct answer is eccentric. They don't have the same center. For that reason, they are eccentric. Are you getting it? The value of angle PQ is what? The angle is the answer is 90 degree angle. It's 90 degree. Because if you look at this pattern of the drawing that is presented, PQR, PQR uh, has PQ as the diameter of the smaller circle. And the diameter passes through the center of the circle. And if you go into mathematics, we are told that the angle formed by the diameter, the triangle form, angle formed on the circumference of the circle by the core, by the diameter is always 90 degrees. So the answer is 90 degrees. Number 10, which of the following exterior angle of which of the, what is the value, sorry, what is the value of each exterior angle of a regular do dodecagon. Dodecagon is actually a, a, a polygon that has 12 sides. And for you to find the angle needed, the external angle, this is simple. Divide it by 360, and the answer is going to become 30. But in case you don't know what dodecagon is, then all you need to do is divide all of them. All these options given here, divide all of them by 360 and see the one that will give you a number that is outside 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because these are the popular and uh, polygons we know. If any of this doesn't give you any of this number I call now, then it should be the correct answer. For this case, 36 will give us a different number, 45 a different number, 36 will give us 10 side, which is decagon, 48 will give us a side, which is octagon, Six will give us this, which is hexagon. So only 30 will give us a different value. All right. Now we look at this particular problem here. Yeah. It says number 11. Which of the construction shown in figure 5 is to. Uh, the purpose, sorry, the purpose of the construction shown in figure 5 is to. The answer is to. Uh, the answer here is to draw a tangential arc. To a line, a line and another arc. Yes, you have to join an arc here, which you call here to connect this line. This is the line, this is the arc. So we have to join this. This thing can only happen under the topic principle of tangency. And that is where you get this. Are you a long lady? You are struggling with how to get married. You are even afraid you will not get married. You feel that your age to get married has passed. You feel that you have been used by men. You feel that you have been abandoned by men. You feel that the war, you, your body features cannot make you win in the marriage battlefield. You just feel that you are left aside. In fact, you have concluded now that you can't marry again. Marriage is not your own share. You are not among them. Each time you look at yourself, you look down at yourself, my dear. You are not getting it right. I believe there are information you didn't get you. Once you get this information, you can change the story about your marital prospect and desires any moment within the shortest period of time, highest one year. You will begin to see results that will shock you. And that is what this book, what to do when you worry too much about marriage, has for you. It's a compilation of deep revelation. I am not talking about what came from my head. I'm talking about a message I collected far back in 2002 or so, in the midnight, from 12 o'clock 
till 5 o'clock in the morning. I was afraid to write it down. But with time, through encouragement and God and his people, I was able to put it in writing. Grabbing that book will change your story forever. My dear, do not ignore this content. Go now, right now, into the comment section and click on that title link and go and order for a copy. Buy it immediately. It will change your story. You will not regret you did it. Thank you for listening. Number 12. Okay, number 12. All right. You see, the area of triangle STU in figure 6 is what? The correct answer is B, which is equal to the area of SUG. How? Once two triangles are placed between lines that are parallel to them, and both of them have the same base, then they will also have the same area. Are you getting it? That's the correct answer. Now, number 13. The sketch, right, the sketch in figure 7 shows the construction of what? The answer is hyperbola. So, the answer is hyperbola. Something. That's the correct answer. Number 14. Now, we are told that uh, we are asked the original length, the original height of a building drawn to 8 centimeters on a drawing sheet, is, which is scaled at 5 millimeters by 2, 0.2 meters, is, please, this one needs a small explanation. So, the next tutorial video will help us get across to this. All right. Question number 15. 15. The sketch, all right, the sketch in figure A shows a rod resting on planes JK and JL. The locus of point P as the, as the rod slides in the direction X is what? The answer is actually C. The answer is C. When you plot this, of course, the answer you're going to get is C. So there's no need to haggle about that one. Question number 16. Right. Now, question 16. It says, which of the following statements is true of freehand sketching? The answer is D. Parts are drawn proportionally to their original size. They cannot be exact, but they will proportional. All right, to the original size. That is the correct answer, D. Number 17. And number 18, all right, require a little explanation, all right? So number 17, the following projection can show the true face of an object. It's a little bit complicated, but the video tutorial that will follow after now will help us capture it very, very well. Number 17. <laughs> The following projection can show the true face of an object except the answers are there, so you can see it on the screen. The answer actually is C, so let's prove it. Now, axonometric projection is the general name for all type of projection that resemble isometric drawing, something like this. Axonometric creates a room whereby you can construct objects that look like this, but you are not using 30 degrees as your base angle, as the only angle, no. You can use 15 degrees to get something like this, 45 degrees to get something like this, or any other type of angle you like. So, how does it affect? The faces of this object are all two shapes, or two faces of the object, but in distorted form. That's why the word can show. Not that it can be the exact, it is the exact phase. However, if you come to orthographic projection, which is stated in B as option, option gives you, orthography gives you the exact true shape of an object or true face of an object which can be measured. However, or, oblique drawing has two problems. It has a face that is exactly true and can be measured with a face that is distorted, which cannot exactly be measured. Even though these are faces, 
that one has a complicated you know, nature, a true and exact place and a false one. Other that has no true and false places cannot be exact. So the correct answer for this one is C, which is ugly drawing. This number 18 question actually requires a little help in hand. So the tutorial video that comes after now will help us to decide what the correct answer actually is. Now, question number 18. All right. By looking at these two faces provided, we have a fact that there is a line in the middle, a line in the middle. And if that is the case, we agree that there should be a line that was run from here to here, perhaps represented by this middle line. All right? Represented by it. So that means this middle line actually entered inside here. Now, if you look at it for that reason, it renders this one and this one null and void. If you come in this case, there is a line in the middle, there is a line in the middle. So we are probably going to have this line in the middle. But this line here suggested that this line is at the top. There is no line under here that could say hidden, run hidden. Because any line that is here is only for here, it didn't run from here to here to give all this particular line. They are by moving this one out. The same thing applies to this one, only this one are because of this and this. Then let us look at this one. Okay. <clears throat> now we have this case, a problem in this place. We are by this line is here, this way. At the same level with this, the same level with this. And you see something? So this point now did not go up it is here. This same line will give us this one. And this same line can go to give other one. So this point, since it is inside, at the same level with this, we agree the fact that this line is actually this one which went inside, confirming B to be the correct answer. Now, um, question number 20. Question number 20. Very correct. Question number 20. No, sorry, question number 19. Two views of a block are shown in figure 10. All right. So, the isometric projection of the block is what? The answer is D. The answer is what? D. The sketch in figure 11 shows a pyramid. Use, use it to answer question 21 and 22. Well, let's go on. We're going to need this to answer question 21 and 22. All right. Now, here is it. Here is the whole thing. All right. We have it here. Question number 20. All right. So the view in the direction of the arrow Q is, the view in the direction of the arrow Q is, the answer is, Auxiliary plan. So, we will need a small tutorial video to help us understand this. Now, question number 20. This is similar to what we have here already. I just tried to complete it so that we can list the answer correctly. We are told that uh, they said the view in the direction of our Q is what? The correct answer is auxiliary plan. How? It is projected to this. These are two faces. This is a front elevation of this, and this is a plan of this. Another name for front elevation is, a, is uh, okay, front view is front elevation, all right. So for that reason, since the line of projection is fired into the front, we only transmit the measurement from the plan, and the plan will copy it and bring it here to get this one by tracing the line that comes from the front. Since the dimension is taken from the plan, this projection that we fire from here is called auxiliary plan because it is taken from the plan, because measurement comes from the plan. Is that one clear? That is why the correct answer to this one is C.
In the same way, too, we will need a tutorial video to help us clarify the issues that surround question number 21. Then number 21, they say the projection required to obtain the second auxiliary plan is drawn from where? The second auxiliary plan is this way. All right, second auxiliary plan. So sec second auxiliary requires that we project our line from here. Actually, we are now, this one automatically becomes our plan and this one becomes our world front elevation. Second auxiliary plan is telling us we will copy measurement from the one that is becoming the plan to this to get the elevation here. Because here becomes the front view, while here becomes a plan to this one. That is why it is called second auxiliary plan. Because we are taking measurement from the plan of this one to get this one. Alright, so where are we taking the measurement to? If you compare this and this, this one is called plan. But if you compare this and this, this one is actually elevation. And that is why the second auxiliary plan will be taken from the first auxiliary elevation. So it's the answer it becomes C for number 21. 21. That is the correct answer. Now, we have 22. The point K shown in figure 12 represents what? The answer is A. The vertical truss, not the horizontal one. The answer is vertical truss. All right, 23. Which of the following shape is not a section through a cone? The correct answer is D. Is D. Trapezium cannot be found when you cut a cone. In any way, you can get a trapezium. All right? But 25, the true shape of a cut surface is obtained when the projection line are normally B, perpendicular to the cutting plane. That's how you get the true shape. At 90 degrees to the cutting plane, that's it. Number 25, the says, which of the following section is correctly hatched? Yes, there is a little problem between B and C. A is not part of it. B is not because all the lines, the same hatching lines are used here. So this one and this one are not part of it. But here, we have a little compromise to make. Number one, you don't use uh, vertical lines, just anyhow. Okay? You don't use vertical lines, just anyhow. In this case, uh, we are told that in this case, this object, we can use, a, okay, in this case, the correct one actually is B, all right? Uh, the correct answer in this case is A. Why did you say A? You see, you hardly use horizontal lines or vertical lines to show another part to show another part in a section, all right? Now, we agree to the fact that this is an object whose inner part was not affected by a cutting plane. So we only cut the outer one and leave the inner one. But this one, horizontal line can only be used when we have exhausted angles from the right hand at 45 degrees from the right and 45 degrees from the left, exhausted the spacing of the lines at this angular cutting, exhausted the other one after cutting this way, before we can come in to use vertical, horizontal. Secondly, why we will not accept B and C is because if we accept B, then we also accept C, because both of them are correct hatching. But unfortunately, they are only emergency or leftover options when all options for sectioning have been exhausted. But that reason two of them are ruled out and the answer here is A. The correct answer is A. Now we have this problem. The answer here is actually the question here, question number uh, question number 26. The type of section is shown if you go 13 is is uh, half section, that's this one, half section. 
you cut this thing halfway and up like this so to be able to see something like that is half section the correct answer is c 27 question number 27 the use of radial line metal is most suitable for the development of actually we use radial line metal for and as for this case of the for the cases listed in c and d but the sentence say most suitable. It is most suitable when it has to do with coal. So the answer is C. So why is it not most suitable for uh, D? The thing is because the corners of pyramid have already decided the intervals between the radial line metal. But in case of C, we need this radial line method to help us actually get the shape of the object we want to do, to develop. So that is why it is most suitable. The correct answer is C. Now, we have 28, question 28. Which of the following uh, sketches shows the correct line of intersection between two equal cylinders? The answer is B. Of course, it must be a straight line here and here, and touching the center line where the two of the lines meet. The correct answer is C. So do not miss the point there. 29. The line through which a cylinder is cut open for development is called C. The answer is D. It's called C. Now, number 30. Which of the following angles cannot be produced using construction? Is only 50. You cannot construct this one using construction line. It's not possible. Do you know that traveling by the Nigerian train that whole time possesses a kind of experience and empire, a collection of great experiences that can completely change your life? I understand that many people don't like to talk about that type of train because they always associate it to dirty environment, congestion, and all manner of negative reports. What they don't know is that hidden in the midst of darkness is a wealth of experience you cannot buy with money anywhere. The novel you see just here has this thing, a message for you, a story that when you read it, I am sure before you get to the end of this story, the end of the story, your life will not be the same. You will shed tears. You may likely cry. And also, if you want to really to see, to have fun, to go through adventure while sitting in the comfort of your room, please do not just pass this novel when you have. It's not just a novel, it is an experience that may change your life forever. And if you are a person who has been looking for a way to have, find happiness in life, find joy in life, this is your bet. Start from here. Go to the link below now and just order a copy either from Amazon or from seller.com, especially for those people in Africa, you easily get it from seller.com. But if it is you are outside the Africa, country, and other place, then go to Amazon, and if you order for hard copy of it, this book is really causing wave among people. This is one of the hard work I have devoted myself to do. And it will challenge you as a science student, as it is, to discover that you are being a science student, just not just a business science student. It will expose another dimension of you. So go now and get it. Now we have come to section B. Can you see we are starting with building drawing and it's optional. That's part one. So let's go into it immediately. All right. Now we can see in this case. So we have this case here before us. Uh, there is a case that we will use to answer questions number... 31 to 33. So this is the building work given to us. Let's go. Type of roof. The type of roof of the building is what? The answer is uh, heaped roof. The answer is heaped roof, please. That's the type of roof you have there. Now the material used to make the door from the shape of this, you know that it's wood. The answer is A.
All right, question 33. It says, in first angle orthography projection, the view of the building in the direction of P is what? Is nothing but front elevation. The answer is C. Now we go back, we we'll answer this one. K30. So question number 34, which of the following symbol represents a hard pole? The answer is, is A. The answer is A. Now 35, the tool shown in figure 15 is called D, hand thrower. It's called hand thrower. 36. The type of staircase for use, where space is limited as well. It is spiral case. That's one we can use. All right, to accommodate people going upstairs. 37. Which of the following is not a feature of foundation footing? It's creed. You don't find creed in foundation footing. The answer is what? B. Number 38, which of the following features is not shown in a building view? Uh, it's not shown in a building view. Of course, which of them do you not see in a building view? The answer is hardcore. You don't show it when you are showing the front of a building view. Now, this uh, diagram is to be used to answer questions 39 and 40. So let's go ahead and get that done. 39, the question reads like this. The purpose of the protruded rod labeled P is shown. You can see it in the diagram, there's a part labeled P. Right, is what? The part labeled P is what? Provides reinforcement of the lintel. The answer it provides reinforcement, make the lintel stronger and firmer. Are you getting it? Makes it even more, more stronger and much more difficult to break. Number 40, now we have this case. The structure is most likely made of what? Is uh, reinforced, the answer is, uh, is reinforced concrete. Yeah, the material is made of reinforced concrete. Now, this other book I have for you is about things as things fall apart. I know all of us know about things fall apart. It is a great war. And it contains so many of beautiful things because it's, it's a book that has endured a great celebrated name over the whole world, translated to different things. But we discover that things fall apart did not give the whole narration. And that is why I wrote this book as things fall apart. Things can still, you know, center can still be whole, can still hold together. I crafted a story that actually has nothing to do with Okonko, but I came up with a story to show to people things that are not really correct. For instance, the idea that Bible church is the instrument of division in the church is a misconception that is drawn out of things fall apart. I corrected it in this novel. If you are the person that is looking for truth and also want to enjoy those sweet experiences of village life, especially the version that happens in places like Abia State, and you want to see another kind of experience similar or close to what is all about contains. If you love literary work, love reading stories that will make you float in the air with pleasure, happiness, and great joy, and be satisfied while you are in the quiet corner of your room. In fact, stories that can wipe out from you loneliness and depression, you cannot just do without going through this book as things fall apart. It will change a lot of things for you. Now, the second part of our uh, is this, is uh, mechanical drawing. So let's go into it immediately. 
Now, the specification of an isometric screw is this and this. Use it, the information to answer question 31, 31. So let's use this piece of information to answer those questions. 31. A pitch of the screw is what? The pitch is the distance between one of the top level of the screw thread to the next one. So the answer here is D. That's the standard for writing it. And the diameter is B. All right, 12 millimeters. Now we have this question. The value of the chamfer angle X on the bolt, on the bolt shown below is what? The bolt head shown in figure 17 is what? The angle is X, that is 30 degrees. So please do not miss it. That's the angle for that. Now we have question number 34. Which of the following fastener is used for permanent joint? The answer is A, rivet. Permanent, you seal it, and no human being can separate it. Question number 35. If the wheel shown in the in figure 18 is rolled on a uh, straight path without slipping, the locus of the point P for a complete circle can be, shall be, uh, nothing, but a cyclo. That's it. The answer is D. Very correct. So we have this question. There's a diagram here we have to use to answer question 36 to 38. Let's go there. Question 36. The part level L, you can see it in that. If you look at the diagram closely, you will discover that the part level L is called fillet joint. That's the name of that part, level L. 37. Which of the following fastener is used for whole leveled M? For the whole leveled M. The correct one is split pin. That's the right thing to be used there. Split pin. Uh, question number 38. The correct section for the joint in figure E. Okay, sorry. The correct section for the joint is, please look at this diagram. You will know that this D is not in this, it's not correct. And also, we also know that uh, B is not correct. So our bone of contention will fall between A and C. Now, C is wrong for one good reason. Let's look at it. If we are going to section this chamfer, this uh, washer, then certainly this shaft must pass through here. That is the error that is in this place. That's all. But here now, we didn't section it at all, just like we did not section this top and this one and this one. Thereby qualifying A to be the correct answer. This is the only mistake that was made here that rendered this C incorrect. Every other one is correct. Um, yes, the type of key shown in figure 20 is called, the answer is B, Allen key. And lastly, number 40, we have this, it says the type of fastener shown in figure 21 is called what? Is wing nut, the answer is D. I haven't reached this so far. I wish you enjoyed what you have just seen. Once more, uh, I just showed you some of the books I have written and other things are there. If this particular content has really blessed you, please share it, comment, and like. If you have not subscribed and this is your first time on meeting my channel, do well to all subscribe to my channel and then click the notification button and like this particular post. Please share it as wide as you can. Use it in school free of charge. But the only way you can appreciate me, and I'll be very happy, is to patronize those books I have shown to you. The books were not just written for written sake. We are there to give you the most experience you've ever had in life. One is on train journey, and the other one is on a kind of trying to look at things fall apart from another perspective. Even though that book, Things Fall Apart, is a massive book, which my book does not promise to challenge. But there's something you are going to see in that book that will miss you. As for the one about marriage, my dear, it is for our young ladies out there. If you are no young lady 
who is not yet married, that book is yours. You need to read that book. And even if you are married, a mother or whatever, you may have somebody who needs that book. Please kindly share the book to your parents, your friends, and our loved ones. It will bless their hearts by the time which. Thank you for listening, and God bless you. As I hope to start answering questions this time around in Nico examination objective. And like I promised in the time past, I said a time is coming when I will begin to answer essay and theory questions, um, perhaps sometimes practical. God willing, that will start soonest. God bless you, and I'm blessed. Thank you for following me all.